Hey guys, Luke back with another all-in-one guide video. This one's going to be on all of the cookbook locations in the game. You can get every cookbook in this video. So if you find videos like this helpful, leave me a like and consider subscribing for more guide and PvP content to come. And also I have videos just like this one for other topics like talismans, incantations, spells, pretty much everything in the game at this point. So if you need something like that, it'll be on my channel in a playlist called All-in-One Locations. And without further ado, I'll get started. If you'd like the Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook 1, you'll head up to the Wyndham Catacombs in the Altus Plateau. If you don't know how to get up here, you can just head to the Erdtree Gazing Hill and then wrap around up this way. Make your way through the village and then you'll be up here, where I am now. And then we can make our way through. Careful of that trap. Run through here, try not to get hit by the blades. be a knight here. I'm going to try to lure him over here so I can get to that ladder and go up it. Make a left right here. Step onto the floor and then step off. It'll go up and then we can drop down to the below area. And then the cookbook you're looking for will actually just be sitting right over here. If you'd like the Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook 2, you'll head to the forest spanning Great Bridge in the Altus Plateau. And then once you're here, you can just head right over here to this merchant, and he will sell you the cookbook right here. If you'd like Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook 3, you'll head over to the Cathedral of the Dragon Communion in Kaelid. And then once you're here, the cookbook is actually just right near the pedestal you use to buy the incantations. And that's how you get that one. If you want the Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook 4, you'll head to the Dragon Temple Lift here in the Crumbling Ferrum Azula. And then once you're here, we're just going to make our way through. And I'm just going to run past everything. going to be a dragon here. Not really interested in fighting him. And you'll find the cookbook right over here. If you'd like Armor's Cookbook 1, you'll head over to the Og Hill Lake North Grace. And this is in Limgrave. And then we're going to make our way over to the Cell Sword Camp over that way. And in that camp, we'll find the cookbook we're looking for. You 
can see it right there. That's how you get that one. If you'd like the Armorer's Cookbook too, you can head to the western side of Limgrave. And this is right by the first step and the Church of Ella. You just head down, make your way around, and head up the coast. And there will be a merchant under a large structure right here. And he will go ahead and sell you the cookbook you're looking for. If you'd like the Armorer's Cookbook 3, you can head to the eastern side of Limgrave, near Fort Height West. And then you can just travel straight up, and the merchant's going to be sitting right here in the woods. Oh, nice If you'd like Armorer's Cookbooks 4 and 5, you'll head to the chamber outside the Plaza Grace, and this is in the Red Main Castle in Caelid. And there's a prerequisite you need to do before you can get these two, and one is to kill Star Scourger Dawn. And then once you do that, you can re-talk to the announcer of the festival, and then he will unlock doors to the castle, and then you can use those doors to get to the cookbooks, and then you can just head out. Jump over this thing. There'll be two giant lion guys in the courtyard. We're gonna try not to get their attention. And then in here, in the back left hand corner, you'll find Armor's Cookbook 4. And then you can head up through here. Here you'll find Armor's Cookbook 5 to your right. If you'd like Armor's Cookbook 6, you'll head down to the Siafa River Bank Grace. And if you don't know how to get down here, you'll head over to the Mistwoods. And then from the Mistwoods outskirts, you can head over to the elevator right here. Take that elevator down, and then eventually you'll reach where I am now. And then once you're here, we're just going to head up this way. And the cookbook we're looking for will actually just be sitting right here. If you'd like the Armorer's Cookbook 7, you can head up to Mount Gelmer at the Seedswater Terminus Grace. If you don't know how to get to this grace, you can head to the Erdtree Gazing Hill and then head up this way and then through the village, you'll find the Seedswater River and you'll make your way through over to where I am now at the Seedswater Terminus. And we're going to make our way up to this fort and in that port, we'll find the cookbook we're looking for. We can just run past this big guy. find the cookbook right back here behind this table. If you'd like Beaver's Cookbook 1, you'll head over to the Summon Water Village Outskirts Grace here in Limgrave. And we're going to make our way over to this little graveyard right here, and that's where we'll find the cookbook. To get down over there, we'll have to follow the side of the cliff till we can find a spot we can get down. Which looks to be about right here. find the cookbook sitting right here. That was a weird dismount. 
There it is. To get the Fever's Cookbook 2, you'll head over to the main academy gate here in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. And we're going to make our way down towards this isolated merchant down here. There's some wolves along the way, but they're mostly docile. You'll find the merchant right here, and he will sell you the cookbook you're looking for. If you want the Fever's Cookbook 3, you'll first need to go to the underground area where the Mogwen Dynasty Mausoleum is. And then after you've visited this mausoleum area, you'll head back to Gideon Ophnir in the Round Table Hold and speak to him and he will give you the cookbook. Then I bid you well. I am known as a tarnished eye. You now belong. Yeah. Hit the Mogwin Palace oh, one right so here. That's where the fit at him stay. But if whatever. Ah, information and it is a you are a true. And that's how you get the cookbook three. And just a little bonus piece of information, if he doesn't give you this cookbook, or he's dead or something in your playthrough, just go over to the Twin Maiden Husks back here, and they should have the cookbook in their inventory. If you want the Frenzied Cookbook 1, you'll head over to the Frenzied Flame Village outskirts, here in the Lyernia of the Lakes region. And then once you're here, we're going to make our way towards the Frenzied Flame Village. And you'll find the cookbook you're looking for right inside this room. If you'd like the Frenzied Cookbook 2, you'll first need to travel down to the Cathedral of the Forsaken. And to get through here, you'll need to go first through the underground roadside, and eventually you'll make your way here. Um, it's quite the long trek, and you'll have to kill a boss in this room. So if you need to know how to get down here, I have a full walkthrough on how to get down here in my... Frenzied Flame Questline Guide on my channel, and I'll leave a card or something on the screen you can click right here to get down here. There'll be a timestamp for that somewhere in the comments. And then once you're, you've are you killed Moog and you're in this room, you'll just hit this thing right here. That'll lower. And then we'll progress through here. And then you'll come here, and there might be a sealed door. If this door is sealed, it'll say sealed by Margot the Grace Given. So what we'll need to do is head back and kill Margot over here in the Landau Capital area. And I'll go ahead and do that and meet you back here. Alright, now that I have the seal broken, I can head through. I'm going to go ahead and just drop down right here. And then once more right here. And the cookbook we're looking for will just be sitting right here. If you'd like the Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 1, you can head over to the Lyernia Lake Shore. And this is right when you first enter Lyernia of the Lakes, right after Stormvale Castle. And then we're going to make our way up to right about here, and there's going to be a little camp. Right up this way. And then in this camp, we'll find the cookbook we're looking for. I'm trying to remember where it is. There it is. And that's how you get the Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 1. If you'd like the Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 2, you'll head over to the Lascar Ruins. And this is right after you enter Lyernia of the Lakes. And then actually just right nearby the Grace, sitting right here, will be the cookbook you're looking for. If you'd like the Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 3, you'll head to the Lyernia Highway North Grace. Then once you're here, we're going to make our way over to this tower right here. And halfway up the tower, there will be a chest, and we can go ahead and loot the chest and get the cookbook we're looking for.
Here's the chest. There's the cookbook. If you'd like the Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 4, you can head to the Academy Gate Town Grace in Lyernia of the Lakes. And then I'm going to head over toward this way, towards that building right there where my head's at. Inside of that building, near an Albanoric, is going to be a chest, and in that chest we'll find the cookbook. Here it is. If you'd like the Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 5, you'll head to the Schoolhouse Classroom Grace here in the, the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. And then the first thing you'll do is just head straight left and then straight right. And in this chest right here will be the cookbook you're looking for. If you'd like the Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 6, you'll head up to the Caria Manor Main Gate. And then once you're here, you're going to make your way over to this way, right there. Careful of the giant hands in the area. But right inside this room, you'll find the cookbook you're looking for. If you'd like Glenstone Craftsman Cookbook 7, you'll head over to the Caria Manor at the Royal Moon Gazing Grounds. Alternatively, you can come from Ranny's Rise. But we're headed over to where I am now, near the ledge. And we're going to drop down. And down here somewhere, there's going to be a merchant. And that merchant's going to go ahead and sell us the cookbook we're lo looking for. If you come down here and he's dead, which is very possible, he will drop his bell bearing and you can take that bell bearing back to round table hold and purchase the cookbook there. There it is. If you'd like Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 8, you'll head up to the inner consecrated snowfield grace in the, in the consecrated snowfield. And then we're going to make our way up towards the tower, but we're just going to head like sort of over here. Once we get up around this, the fog's going to get pretty heavy. We'll go ahead and just head towards that marker. There's going to be three spherical head monsters, and you can just go in between them and grab the cookbook right here. If you'd like Missionary's Cookbook 1, you can head over to the Church of Ella right after the first step where you first start the game. And Merchant Kale here will go ahead and sell you that cookbook. What? If you want Missionary's Cookbook 2, you'll head to the Murkwater Cave and Limgrave. And then once you're inside the cave, we'll just head straight through here. And what we need to do is get Patches to be a vendor. And we can buy the cookbook from Patches. To get him to become a vendor, you'll just go through that door and then open this chest. That'll annoy him. And then he will try to attack us. And then once we get him whittled down a little bit, he will surrender. And then we can reload the area. And he should be here as a vendor. If you've been to Volcano Manor already, he may move up to Volcano Manor. Come round, have you? 
have you? <laughs> well, I knew you would. You're a man of reason. Through and through. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't skip this dialogue. Ah, well, what are you... Now, how did I took you for a duck and innocent well, water? Forgive and forget. I'm Pat Arnished, like only for now. In exchange for... Honestly, frankly. So don't be... I'll be ready to... <laughs> I'll be ready to... Alright, and I'm going to reload the area. And he's gone for me because I've already been up to Volcano Manor. So, if you haven't been to Volcano Manor, he would be here. And you could just talk to him and purchase the cookbook there. But if you have been to Volcano Manor, we need to make our way back to Volcano Manor. Don't take this chest because it'll trap you and take you somewhere else. Just do return to entrance and then head outside and fast travel up to the Volcano Manor. And I'll go ahead and skip to being there. And now that I'm at the Volcano Manor, right here in Mount Gelmer, I can head down the hallway here and Patches will be sitting right here. Good though. We'll do good. Oh. That is important. And you can purchase the cookbook from him right here. If you'd like the missionary cookbook three, you'll head to the smoldering church, and this is in between Kalid and Northern Limgrave. And then once you're here, it'll be on the body to the right nearby the grace. If you'd like the Missionary's Cookbook 4, you can head up to the Minor Erd Tree Church in the Altus Plateau. And then once you're here, you'll just turn around from the Grace, head back towards the entrance, and there will be a cookbook sitting right here. If you'd like the Missionary's Cookbook 5, you can head down to the Aqueduct Facing Cliffs Grace in the Siafa River. And then once you're here, you'll just make your way towards the first Crucible Knight, which is patrolling the bridge right there. And then you can make your way down to the cookbook that's just sitting right over here. And that's how you get the Missionary Cookbook 5. If you'd like the Missionary's Cookbook 6, you'll head to the Temple of Iglay here in the Volcano Manor. And then once you're here, you'll head up the lift. This is the room where you kill the Godskin Noble boss fight, by the way. Go ahead and jump. We're going to jump over to there. Up ahead there's going to be a virgin maiden we can just run right by. Jump through the window. And then right over here there's going to be a ladder. We're going to go down it. Head down the stairs. And then open this door right here and the cookbook will be right inside of here. If you'd like the Missionary's Cookbook 7, you can head over to the ancient Snow Valley Ruins Grace here in the mountaintops of the Giants. And then once you're here, we're going to go through here, around the mountain, and then there will be a spirit spring right here at this marker. And then we'll jump up and wrap around the ledge here, and there will be a merchant right here. And that merchant's going to sell us the cookbook that we're looking for.
And here's the spirit spring. And you can see the merchant right there. And there it is. If you'd like Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 1 and Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 2, you'll head over to the Church of Ella, and this is right after the first step. And there'll be a merchant inside the church. His name is Kale. You can go ahead and open his inventory, and he sells you both the cookbooks that I just mentioned. If you'd like Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 3, you can head up to the north part of Limgrave, right after the Saint's Bridge. And then when you cross the bridge, just right here in between this and Summon Water Village, you'll find a nomadic merchant and you can go ahead and open his inventory and he will sell you the cookbook you're looking for. If you'd like Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 4, you can head over to the Mistwood on the eastern side of Limgrave. And right about here where I am, I just came from the Mistwood outskirts race and headed over to where I am now. There's going to be a large rune bear scratching a tree near the map fragment. And you can just go ahead and grab it from him. He will attack you if you take this. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe not. He's chilling. If you'd like Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 5, you can head over to the eastern side of Limgrave near the Fort Height West. And then travel up the road to where I am now. There's going to be a merchant sitting in the woods. And he will sell oh, you the nice. cookbook that you're looking for. If you like the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 6, you'll head over to the Fort Height West Grace. And this is on the eastern side of Limgrave. And we're going to make our way up into the fort. And we'll find the cookbook in a room. Once you approach the fort, you're going to get shot at, so just keep sprinting on through. And you'll find the cookbook right in this room. There's also going to be some enemies, so be careful. And that's how you get that one. If you'd like the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 7, you'll head over to the Stormhill Shack. And this is on the northern side of Limgrave. And we're going to make our way up the road under the bridge over to this broken bridge. And right about here, we're going to find the cookbook, so let's head there. You can see it right there. The Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 7. If you'd like the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 8, you'll head over to the Tombsward Cave in the Weeping Peninsula. And in this cave, you'll find the cookbook, so we're just going to go ahead and travel through. I realize now that I am over encumbered. Hopefully I don't have to dodge anything. And then you'll find it sitting right back here. If you'd like the Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 9, you can head over to the Tombsword Catacombs in the Weeping Peninsula. You can just head down from the Church of Pilgrimage, make your way up this way, 
and the entrance to this tomb is behind like a large pillar. But once you're here, you'll need a stone sword key and you can just stick it right in this and this is just right in the beginning of the dungeon. There's gonna be some enemies, but you can just run and grab it right here. And that's how you get the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 9. If you'd like the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 10, you'll head to the Rampart Tower Grace in Stormvale Castle. And then once you're here, you're just going to run out the door and then jump right here. There'll be a spot you can jump over. Down to here. And then we're going to make our way over, jump up onto this. Hop down right here. Up ahead, there's going to be a bridge. We're going to go ahead and cross. And then right over there, you can see it on that corpse, is the cookbook we're looking for. If you'd like the Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 11, you can head over to the Lyurnia Lakeshore Grace. And this is right once, right when you first enter the Lyurnia of the Lakes region, right after Stormvale Castle. And then once you're here, there's going to be a merchant sitting right here. And he will sell you the cookbook for 1,500 runes. If you'd like the Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 12, you're going to head to the Rose Church, which is just nearby the Fallen Ruins of the Lake Grace. And then you'll head over this way. And this is in Lyurnia, by the way. And on the southern side, you will find the cookbook. So let's go grab it. There it is. If you'd like the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 13, you'll head up to the Bellum Church. And this is on the northern side of Lyurnia of the Lakes. Then once you're here, you're going to turn around and head straight back through the hole in the wall. And there'll be a merchant sitting right over here, and he will sell you the cookbook you're looking for. You don't want any... If you'd like the Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 14, you'll head over to the Smoldering Church. And this is sort of in between Kalid and Northern Limgrave. And then once you're here, you'll find it sitting on one of these two corpses nearby the Grace. If you'd like Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 15, you'll head over to the Southern Aeonia Swamp Bank Grace. And this is in Kalid. And then you'll head over to where this fork in the road is. And there will be a merchant. And he'll be sitting right here. And we can go ahead and purchase the cookbook from him. If you'd like the Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 16, you'll head to the Ainsel River. This is an underground area. And you can get to the Ainsel River by coming to the Eastern Tableland. And then there will be a little elevator right here behind a giant. You can use that to get down to where I am now. You'll eventually, you'll come in sort of at the depths here. And then you can walk through this way and make your way up and then down and then up and this way. And there's going to be a large opening room and there's going to be a big bug that's shooting purple rocks at you. You can see the bug right there. We're going to make our way through the room, trying not to get hurt too bad by the rocks. And once you get past them, right back in here you'll find the merchant that sells the cookbook you're looking for. If you'd like the Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 17 and 18, You'll head over to the Siafra River Bank Grace, and this is in the Siafra River. To get down here, you can head over to the Mist Woods, and near the large tree, there will be an elevator. You can go down that, and that will bring you to where I am now. But once you're here, we're just going to make our way through.
It's going to be a spirit enemy up here. We can kill him or just run past him. Let's wait for this guy to get on the ladder and then we're going to knock him down. Or he's just going to drop. That works. And right here you can sort of fall down and I'm going to go ahead and mount up. Almost fell off there. Careful. And then back in here you'll find the nomadic merchant just sitting there. And you can buy both the cookbooks you're looking for from them as well as a larval tier and three stone sword keys. If you'd like the Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 19, you'll head up to the Altus Plateau. And near the minor Erd tree right here where I am, you'll see a large sort of creature there and then a ruined building. And you can just head up into the ruined building and there will be a cookbook sitting right here. If you'd like the Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 20, you'll head up to the first Mount Gelmer campsite in Mount Gelmer. And then once you're here, we're going to make our way up and then up several ladders and we'll find the merchant that sells the cookbook we're looking for along the way. Pretty long ladder. There'll be another ladder right here we'll need to go up. Once you get up here, you'll find the merchant. Welcome. Dear Cast, well, are you please? I'm hungry. And he sells the cookbook we're looking for. If you'd like the Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 21, you'll head to the Volcano Manor. And this is the main lobby where you meet Tanith and get the drawing room key from her. We rarely risk fascinating. So, about the bird, if you have, rise with us. Your decision now, you've been the drawing room. I am Tanith. And now that you have the key, we can head down. And the first door on the right, we're going to go ahead and open. In the back right hand corner of the room, there's going to be an invisible wall. Down here at the end of this hallway, get around these snails, you'll find the cookbook you're looking for, and just as a little tip, there's a illusionary wall right here. If you like the Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 22, you'll head over to the Lake of Rot Shoreside, and this is in the underground area of Ainsel River. And then once you're here, we're going to make our way down towards this marker here and inside that little building we'll find the cookbook we're looking for. And I'm just gonna run straight through.
And you'll find the cookbook you're looking for right here in this chest. If you want the Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 23, you'll head to the Consecrated Snowfield Grace and the Consecrated Snowfield. And then you'll head up towards this marker right here, and then somewhere over in that direction we're going to find the body that houses the cookbook we're looking for. And here it is. If you want the Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 24, you'll head over to the Palace Approach Ledge, and this is in the Mogwin Palace area. If you don't know how to get here, you can head up to the Consecrated Snowfield. And around here you'll be invaded, and then there'll be a teleporter somewhere up along the ledge. And you can take that teleporter and it'll bring you here. And you can see the cookbook right there by my torch on the ledge, on that corpse. So we're going to go ahead and go grab it. We're just going to keep hugging the left side, try not to lure in too many enemies, especially those large birds, those things are very dangerous. And I did get invaded, so I am dismounted. Hopefully I can make this jump right here. I cannot, so I'm going to have to run around. find the cookbook sitting right here. If you want the Perfumer's Cookbook 1, you'll head up to the Abandoned Coffin side of Grace here in the Altus Plateau. And then from here we're going to make our way up to the Perfumer's Ruins, and then in that ruins we'll find the cookbook we're looking for. in here somewhere. Maybe it's this chest right here. Or I'm going to clear this out a little bit. There it is. If you'd like the Perfumer's Cookbook 2, you'll head to the Shaded Castle Inner Gate Grace here in the Altus Plateau. Then once you're here, we're going to make our way this way. Head up into here. There'll be another ladder right here. We're going to try to climb it without getting knocked off, hopefully. And the cookbook we're looking for will actually just be right here. If you want the Perfumer's Cookbook 3, you'll head to the Oriza side tomb here in Altus Plateau. And then once you're here, we'll make our way through. Jump through the window. Up ahead, we need to take a transporter chest, but first we'll need to kill these several imp enemies. A 
because I tried to take the chest earlier and the chest took way too long to take me. So I just ended up dying, so I'm going to go ahead and open it now. And now that we're in here, there's going to be a big pot guy. Two of them. And the cookbook will be right here. If you'd like the Perfumer's Cookbook 4, you'll head to the Ainsel River Downstream Grace. If you don't have this grace yet, to get to the Ainsel River, you'll head to the Eastern Tableland in the Liernia of the Lake region. And then you can head down around, and there'll be a giant right here, and then a large elevator that you can bring yourself down into where I am now. And you'll end up right over here at the Well Depths Grace, and then you can just walk through the, the river there, up and around, go down an elevator, come down through here, and then you'll be in a large room with an opening. And then you'll find a big bug that's shooting purple rocks at you, and you can see the bug right there. You can just head up through, trying not to take too much damage. And then back in this room, you'll find a merchant, and he will sell you the cookbook you're looking for. 